Hello everyone, welcome back to the Pro Football Historian channel. I'm your host, Lynn Given, and today we'll be talking about the Baltimore Ravens, talking about their uh, previous season in 2021, as well as what might happen going into 2022, as well as their uh, the upcoming draft. So they started off the year being favorites against the Raiders on Monday Night Football, and uh for them, you know, unfortunately didn't go their way. They had a hard time blocking the Raiders front. And, you know, Lamar fumbled three times, lost two, got sacked three times. And Carr had a great game. He did have an interception, but, you know, threw a lot. And ultimately, even with a little run game to speak of, they, uh, you know, they did what they needed to. And then threw a touchdown, I believe, to Zay Jones at the end of the game. She was Zay Jones. It was 338 left in overtime. Uh, so, Raiders not a great start. I mean, Ravens not a great start, but uh, could turn around. They have a game where I would say for the most part they didn't play well, but they got a chance to, cl- to close the game, they got it close. And the Chiefs, you know, Hilaire, Clyde Edwards, Hilaire fumbled the football in the game, and they gave Baltimore the chance to secure the victory when the Chiefs had all the momentum. I don't know why the can't reach the server right now. Let's try it again, but if not, we'll just go like this. Yeah, and other chances. Jason away their first round pick. Makes a great play. Causes the fumble. And they win the ball game. So then they play Detroit Lions, a game, they're a better team by far, and did not play like it. I think Marquis uh, Brown, Hollywood Brown, had a lot of drops uh, from just memory. This game works. It's not. Okay. So a lot of drops. Uh, played good defensively, and then they had some key fourth downs at Lamar Jackson through to get, and then they kicked their 66 yarder, which obviously is the record and the all time record, and one of those great finished games. They then try to continue their 100 yard streak the next week against the Denver Broncos, and they do so the very end of the game, which you know it pissed people a lot. Uh, to me, it's whatever they want to go for record and risk their players at the Ravens choice, you know. Obviously, they kept it, and then they couldn't even continue the streak the next week, ending it against the Colts. A game um, where they almost, like, they were getting blown out at the point in this game. Colts, who only had, like, one win at the point of the season, uh, found a way to lose this game. And opportunities, the Ravens blocked the field goal, I believe. Kicker got hurt. All chance in the world of the Colts to win this. And Baltimore hanged in there, and Lamar threw, uh, threw enough, and did made enough plays to win the game, carrying this Ravens squad. Which, I mean, it was better on paper before the year. They had a lot of injuries, and then they had continued a lot of injuries. So, by the middle point of the season, I didn't view this even as like an average football team, maybe even below that. But they had an eight three record at one point, which we'll get to. They play the Chargers. They dominate this game. A lot of fourth downs. The Chargers went for it, which was their uh, what they did. And it did not work this game. They just got behind badly. The blitzes and the confusion of their scheme uh, worked, and they won 34-6. They played the Bengals the next week. It was tied 17-17, I believe, maybe even at halftime. And um, the Bengals in the second half just dominated the game. Big play by Jamar Chase, you remember, breaks a couple tackles. He goes all the way to the end zone. So then they have a bye week. Then they play the Vikings. Talked about this in the Vikings video. Good, close game. Uh, and they win in overtime. So they, they lose one in overtime, and they win two in overtime. Then they play the Dolphins Thursday Night Football. They get, they kind of get dominated. 10-22 doesn't really do justice. They were getting, they couldn't do anything offensively. The blitz has really caused a lot of issues. Either way, uh, they play the Bears. I think Lamar is sick this game. 
So they have Tyler Huntley. Um, you know, and they win by three points against them. not a great football team, but only just uh, Andy Dalton because Fields gets hurt in this game. Uh, only he does get sacked six times. He doesn't play that well, but does later in the season get better. Lamar comes back, gets hurt against the Browns. So he doesn't get hurt by the, the next game. He gets hurt by the, in the Browns game. Uh, this is the wrong Browns game. So they play the Browns. They're eight and three at the point of the season. Lamar throws a lot of ugly interceptions. Very sloppy game. Um, three were like really right before half. Really bad plays. Mark, I know Mark Andrews makes an amazing catch in this game. Then really the Ravens. The big difference with their offense between from this season and the prior years, is they didn't have a running back or the offensive line to do what they wanted to do and pound the football. A lot of the rushing is just Lamar. Like, you look at his offense, 52-14, 13-1. Not great running numbers, not great rushing average, but when you add Lamar 68, it doesn't look too bad. But just he's he was their best running back, basically. They had Devontae Freeman, Latavius Murray. Um, they don't have a lot of football in them left. I think Murray can still play a few years, but Freeman's pretty much an end of the line. So that gets them in the race. I should have said that. Not they were in three and one. So then they play the Steelers next week. They go for two at the very end. Game with Pittsburgh basically back in, giving up 17 points in the fourth quarter. And they both, you know, they went for two and didn't get it. TJ Watt makes a play and. A little bit off, and Mark Andrews can't snag it one hand. And, and so another close game. They could have won, but didn't. Play the Browns. This is where, um, you know, Lamar gets hurt. They're down big. Only comes in, though, at the end of the game and starts to lead them on a comeback. Unfortunately, you know, didn't ultimately win this game. So now Lamar's hurt. They go to, you know, we'll go look at the stats really quick. But you can see, come back late. And, again, they didn't finish it. Then they went to group. They played the Packers at home. Again, the Packers almost blew. They're up 14 points, I believe. And Baltimore decides just like a few weeks ago, we're going to go for two and try to win this game. And it just did not work. Had the momentum, but didn't make the play. You could argue Mar Marquise Brown was open. Aaron Rodgers kind of picked apart that defense. Even with not great rushing numbers and average, but didn't matter. Huntley played pretty well. I think the defense, the Packers, without Kenny Clark really hurt them. Because they struggled against this team and the Browns in back-to-back -back weeks. Uh, then they played the Bengals. This is Josh Johnson playing this game, I believe, because I can't remember how many I hurt. Or either way, they had played Josh Johnson a good amount, and uh, they just could not compete against the Bengals. They just Bengals another forty points, and in both games, I think Burrow combined like nine hundred yards through a five hundred one game and four hundred another. It was not good for the, the Raven. Then they play the Rams. Obviously, this is back to back weeks. They played a Super Bowl team and they compete against the Rams and just couldn't uh, couldn't do it. You know, Ron Miller got his, I think, his first sack as a Ram or whatever in this game. And again, for some reason it's not working right now. Either way, another opportunity to end this losing streak because they, you could see, they lost. They went from 8 and 3 to 8 and 9. So last week of the season. They play the Steelers. Yeah, they could have knocked the Steelers out of the playoffs. They are still actually even alive for the playoffs. They need a lot to happen, and it didn't happen. And I think they actually would have made the playoffs if they did win this game, surprisingly. But uh, it wasn't in the cards, I guess you can say. And the season ends with six losses. In the off season, they extended their head coach for a few years. Should get you know Lamar should be healthy. Uh, 
You get a, they have to look at improving. You know, they got two running backs coming back off injury, so then maybe they can replace that. They need more receiver depth. Uh, they got some young guys there that can maybe step in and play better, like Duvernay and uh, I'm trying to think of the other guys. Bateman, Rashad Bateman, they drafted. A little off Sammy Watkins, but at least he's a still a free agent. Um, defensively, you got some older guys that are free agents as well. And they got to replace that. You know, maybe they resign Justin Houston, the pass rusher they need. They need a. Uh, maybe Marcus Peters come back. They got Humphrey and him. And corner wise, maybe they're okay. Safety, you know, they got Marcus Williams from the Saints. Really good player. So, linebacker, they have Patrick and Queen. So, they got some decent players. In this mock draft by uh, Daniel Jeremiah, they have Carl Loftus from Purdue, a pass rusher. He's more of a, I want to say he's just a run stopper, but he's definitely good against the run. And if he's your number two or three pass rusher, not bad. He's probably not a great number one, though. Which they have Jason Away or Odafe Away, whatever, however you want to call him, as a player they can do, you know, use there. Could get corner. Um... They could even go for tackle, but I think most of the good tackles are going to be off the board at this point. And they did get Morgan Moses, who should have really helped them because Phil and Renava and was not that great last year. And then they also had the injuries to Ronnie Stanley and stuff like that. And they also lost, uh, you know, prior to the season, uh, Orlando Brown that went to the Chiefs. See, Penning's an option here. Thought, thought they go that route. Either way. He improve the offensive line, improve the players around Lamar. Pretty much, that would be the goal. And then, obviously, new scheme on defense. Maybe you know, new defense coordinator. They need to obviously uh, get the players to fit that scheme. So that's what the spec you should probably expect from the draft from the Ravens and in, in free agency the rest of this off season. Again, thanks for watching. Hopefully, you enjoyed. I know it was a little bit shorter video, but. Had technical issues with pro football reference. Either way, we'll come back next, you know, next video with Dolphins. Um, and then we'll go to the Colts. Again, thanks for watching. Have a great day.